uh, Danny, the rabbi asked me to say a few personal words and about going, like a, going down memory lane. And I think that you will feel that this memory, watching these two anthems on this airport grass with all of your lover, people that love and admire you, is something special. And I have to thank you, Rabbi, because this is exceptional. But I want to talk to you about my own personal memories from you. The first time you spoke, you spoke here, well, here at the Hampton Synagogue. And you were great. But you were a little shy. <laughs> then you came to our house for lunch, and you were getting better and getting used to us. And then you went to do your work, what you do. Little did you know that the next night, when you were at a UJA event, who should pop up? <laughs> me. And you called me out. It was like a very proud moment in my life. And you said, this is my first and only friend in all of New York. But you went on to make so many friends. Everyone, you have been such an inspiration and just such a wonderful ambassador to the state of Israel. But I want to end on a real personal note. I don't know if you remember, but maybe two, one, two years ago, you were speaking at the Voices of Zion event, and I flew across the country, because I didn't want to miss it, because I was with my husband, the chairperson, and I didn't want to miss it, and I was sitting there, and you said something that meant more to me and changed my life and allowed me to understand and honor my father's memory. So I want to thank you. I will never forget, and I hope you'll never forget all of us. Thank you. Okay. All right, let's give an applause to Carol Levin. Danny. Sounds like a Star Wars. Carol. Oh, I, no, come on, stand. No, stand here. Stand here. Danny, having grown up and lived on the Upper East Side for 61 years, I have known all of your predecessors. But I must say that our friendship, our closeness, our bond has been something very, very special. You have represented the state of Israel with such dignity, intellect, with such honor and pride, with your charm, your warmth, and your zeal. You have truly elevated and upheld the Jewish state in New York City, New York State, and your responsibility for the entire Northeast. As Carol mentioned, your very first public address when you became Consul General was here at the Hampton Synagogue. And over the four years, I can't think of a single milestone in the life of our congregation where you were not present. Whether it's a Rosh Hashanah dinner, a Tashlich ceremony, whether it's a Memorial Day weekend, July 4th weekend, Labor Day weekend, Thanksgiving, you were always present. And indeed, you became a Ben Bayat as this became one of your spiritual homes here in New York. And on a personal note, Simi and I, Simi unfortunately could not be here. She's taking care of little Liam. And we thank you for joining us on Zoom at the Briss. But on a personal note, we are so grateful 
for your abiding love and friendship. And together with you, your beloved wife, Anat, your daughter, Ophir, we are family. Danny, we can't, Simi and I can't even imagine a Thanksgiving dinner at our home in the Hamptons without the Diane family. So to conclude, I ask myself, why is this farewell tribute different than many of the other tributes that some Jewish organizations are celebrating with you and for you? Manishtana. First, I believe it's your only farewell tribute that is in person, albeit we have automobiles, but it is still in person. But second, we have an advantage that no other synagogue Jewish institution or Jewish organization has. They all think that your great passion is speaking. We know that your great passion is singing. And we have hosted so many performers from Israel, from the Jewish world, during your tenure. So we have a three-minute video compilation of your singing with Israel's rock star Shiri Maimon, with Yaharom Gaon at Gloria Cayley's 80th birthday, with Avraham Fried, the sweet singer of Israel. Watch this carefully. Jeremy, please, the video of Danny Dayan.
In this spirit, we have a special gift for you. Because we know that you're going to continue to sing the many melodies of our people. And we stand in concert with you in your noble quest for harmony, for peace, for understanding, for cooperation. For Midi, not Israel, Am Israel, and greater humankind. So, on behalf of the Hampton Synagogue, we are presenting you with your own karaoke machine. <laughs> Let's hear it for the karaoke machine. <clears throat> you could pretend Shiri Maimon's with you, Avram Fried, Yoram Gaon, even Tova Felchu, whoever you want to sing with. Ladies and gentlemen, for his response and remarks, the distinguished Consul General Ambassador Danny Dayan. Thank you so much. Uh, I can't, uh, I, my English is too poor to express how moved I am this evening. As you said, uh, not only is the only in-person farewell uh, party or farewell, uh, 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 or the, the, you are the only organization that bid me a farewell in, in person. But also, you know, this is a place that I really felt at home. I came here so frequently because every time I stepped into the Hampton Synagogue, I really felt that I am at home, I am uh, uh, surrounded by friends. And now, after only four years, when I looked at the faces uh, that I saw here before uh, every, everybody went into the cars, I understood, I grasped how many friends I made here. It is incredible. It's, it's, it's impossible to, to understand. So really, I want to thank you. Um, it has been, uh, every single visit here has been uh, really an, a, a moving experience. I want to thank you, Rabbi and Simi. I want to thank you, Carol and Jerry, for your friendship. Actually, I should thank so many persons that are here in the audience, but I don't want to start with names and uh, probably will forget someone at my age. So uh, I, I will, I will uh, it's enough with both of you. Um, I am leaving, uh, I am returning to Israel uh, in three weeks. Um, I'm not sure what exactly we'll do uh, in the future. The only certain thing is that I have 14 days of quarantine. I have uh, some ideas, including some offers. Uh, when I, uh, one of them, I, I intended probably to become a rock star, uh, but I think that. Uh, but I think that uh, today, uh, when I arrived here, I understood that I have a better option than becoming a rock star. Probably I will uh, open a sandwich shop <laughs> <laughs> and make the diplomat the star of the menu. <laughs> and uh, that will be a bright future. Now seriously, and I want to be uh, very brief, um, I want to thank you for your friendship. I want to thank you for the fact that you are one of those congregations, and unfortunately not all of them are so, that uh, keep co continue to fulfill 
excellently what I believe are the two mitzvot of contemporary Judaism. The mitzvah of supporting and strengthening the state of Israel and the mitzvah of guaranteeing the continuity of the Jewish people. And as long as we have congregations like yours that are so uh, committed to those two causes, I return to Israel very, very optimistic. And uh, as uh, one American general said, we will be back. I will be back, and I'm sure that in my first visit to New York, I will make the Hampton Synagogue one of my stops. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Amish. He has, he has to be you didn't want another flat, did you? Ladies, gentlemen, the movie will begin in about 20 seconds. Again, special, special honking applause, Ambassador Dion. Thank you.